Revelation 13, our, our text today. Well, first of all, let me just say this. Revelation means to disclose or unveil. And we, we've seen all through this book the unveiling of some amazing things as God begins to unveil his plan for the end of the earth. We have these series of three judgments. You have the revelation of the Antichrist and the false prophet. You have uh, just all these different things that are coming at, in great succession. You have the return of the Lord. You know, the list goes on and on and on. But, but here in this chapter, chapter 13, there's some very specific things that we, we see, that we read, that, that John shares with us as he writes this revelation, this disclosure, this unveiling of the end times. We have the two beasts. We have the Antichrist. We have the false prophet. They, they, they're revealed here in chapter 13. We have the mark of the beast, which is 666. And there's this crazy unveiling of, of what the Antichrist is all about and sort of begins to, in, in some ways, disclose his, his tactics and who he is. The book of Revelation all about God disclosing to us what the end will look like. It's amazing as you read through the Bible. God not only tells us how everything begins, how in the beginning, you know, God created all things, he spoke it into existence, shares how the church is born, takes us from the beginning of time when there was just two people to the very end where God has given mankind all the ability to, to see, to understand, to, to know his love to the very end where he says, okay, now the time has come. And he begins to reveal the whole end time scenario to us. And in chapter 13, we see the beast, we see the false prophet, we see the antichrist. And time is about to come to an end. It's the book of Revelation. It's revealing, it's disclosing that which is to happen at the end of the world.